What the frig is up everybody? It's Andrew with Pride Movement Fitness. I'm gonna tell you a few things that you need to know to figure out if a plan is actually gonna work for you or not, and if it's not, how to find one that will. Andrew's making content videos for Pride Movement Fitness. First things first, you gotta get the more broad things out of the way first and then you can kind of narrow it down a little bit. So uh, time, I mean, ugh, you need a day that works for you always. You need a time that works for you always. So is that gonna be Monday at 5 a.m.? Is it gonna be, you know, every Wednesday and Friday at two? What is it for you? Figure out that time, lock it in, make it like literally locked into your calendar so that you get that notification and then make sure you hold yourself to it. If you set that appointment, treat it just like you would any other kind of appointment and show up for yourself. Two, do you need a partner? If you do, go find one. I promise you they are in plentiful supply. It is not hard to find somebody who's going to have at least similar goals to you. Now, why is that good? Because then you guys can probably actually lift together and do the same things. You know, you're not gonna be the 6'3 um, guy squatting with the 5'4 guy. You know, it's just, it gets awkward. So make sure that if you do find a partner, if you do need a partner, make sure they've got a similar goal so that you guys can work together easily without making a ton of modifications. Now to get a little bit more narrowed down, if you're looking at some program on Instagram and it's got like, kettlebells and resistance bands and stuff like that and you don't have those things obviously you're not going to be doing that program but potentially those people will have um, some modifications in there like usually what I'll do with people when they're training on their own is I'll be like hey this is what you should be doing if that equipment isn't available because you know not every gym is stimulus uh, where they have pretty much everything you could physically need but if your gym doesn't have that kind of stuff, you've got to make sure that you have at least a way that you can modify it that works for you. Um, think like instead of using a resistance band, using a cable or something like that. Now, more specifically, is it targeted at you? If you are my grandma or something like that, um, why are you watching Instagram, grandma? Anyway, if you are my grandma, you are not going to be doing a program that some fitness influencer is doing. You are not going to be doing, you know, the workouts are out of Arnold's Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. You need to make sure that it has specificity to you and what it is that you actually want to get done. And finally, is it scalable? Meaning, is it something that you can make some level of progressive overload toward? Is there a way that you can add more weight to it? Is there a way that you're going to be able to add some tempos to those workouts? Is it something that you can make more challenging for yourself? Because if it's not, it really doesn't matter if that routine is really enjoyable, is really fun. There are, you can go to your gym right now and find these people who have been doing the same routine for 10, 15, 20 years and they look truthfully probably a little bit worse than they did 20 years ago but they're never progressing because they're doing the same thing so when you're looking for a program make sure it's something that you understand how to scale or that the coach who programmed this or designed it has these things automatically built in for it so um that's that guys try those out those are all really important easy things that you can do uh they're things that i looked for in the beginning and that was what helped me a lot in the beginning and they're just so crazy freaking essential when it comes to making sure that not just that a routine is enjoyable for you but that you will actually stick with it and get a long-term result out of it so that's that guys again my name is andrew with pride movement fitness later